Chapter 13 The Evil Demon's Underground Palace Above the square of the Heaven Mending Palace After reporting the name of the Heaven Mending City Lord and still failing to make the other party stop, Hu Dongshan's face was gloomy. Gu Hai and his party also crossed into the fog, only in the fog Gu Hai saw the other party and the other party couldn't see Gu Hai and his party. Hu Dongshan, bind your hands, otherwise, don't blame us for being impolite, Tang Chu once again said in a cold voice. Unpolite, HMPH, if you guys dare to mess around in my heaven mending sect, I'll let you guys have no return, Hu Dongshan said in a cold voice. Give me Hu Dongshan to take him down quickly, Gu Hai said in a cold voice. With a wave of his probing hand, boom, steeply, a huge cloud beast coalesced out of the cloud formation. A group of great Han generals immediately stood above the heads of a group of cloud beast generals. Rumble. Step by step, the cloud beasts headed towards the heaven mending sect. At once, a large number of gamblers burst into commotion. Everyone stay put. It's none of your business. Don't interfere. The general at the head manipulating Xiong Yu at a loud shout. The faces of the crowd of gamblers were complicated for a while. HMPH, a bunch of cloud waste, also want to break into my heaven mending sect. Give me a hand and destroy this cloud waste, Hu Dongshan droned. Yes, a group of heaven mending sect disciples answered and were about to go forward. Powerful and powerful. Xiong Yu Yun Beast let out a loud shout. Under the loud shout, the square heavenly painted halberd immediately chopped at a mountain peak. Boom, the huge mountain peak was instantly split in half, and the heaven-mending sect disciples, who were still charging forward just now, instantly stopped with a change of face. This time, only Hu Dongshan will be captured. It's none of anyone else's business. Get out of the way, Tang Chu let out a cold shout. The crowd of heaven-mending sect disciples looked at Hu Dongshan together. Sect, sect leader, this cloud missed waste, at least for infant realm strength, right? Perhaps the five infant realm. Sovereign, you're the strongest, perhaps you're not even a match for this cloud missed general, us. Sovereign, cooperate with their investigation, maybe it'll be fine. A group of heaven-mending sect disciples were worried. HMPH, a bunch of losers, who Dongshan let out a cold snort. Probing his hand, Hu Dongshan took out a cross pole. No good, that's a ticky AC toe pole. He fixed it, impossible. Didn't he say that it couldn't be mended in the first place? The heaven mending city steeply shrieked. Mending sky city lord, you've also come. HMPH, how much piety does my heaven mending pavilion give you every year? And now you're bringing a huge army to besiege me. Hu Dongshan glared and drank. However, he saw Hu Dongshan probe his hand and wave it. Boom! The string puppet pole, instantly bursting and spilling out countless transparent thin threads in general, bursting in all directions in an instant. It shook violently. Ah, my body. Asshole, Hu Dongshan. What do you want? Nearly all of the gamblers, including the group of great Hon elites on the Cloud Beast, were instantly unable to move. String puppet rods, all of you are my puppets, monster of the great Hon dynasty. It's not that good. Try chopping yourself. Ha 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 ha. Hu Dongshan let out a loud laugh. A shake in his hand. Xiong Yu square heavenly painted halberd suddenly chopped at a cloud beast general on the side. The faces of the two great Hon elites changed. HMPH. Gu Hai let out a cold snort and waved his probing hand. Boom. All the cloud beasts suddenly disappeared and a group of great Hon elites instantly landed on the ground, but they were still controlled by the string puppet poles. Heh, no more monsters. Let you kill each other as usual. Hu Dongshan let out a cold snort, and under the control of his probing hand, a group of controlled great Han generals killed each other all of a sudden. A string puppet pole, controlling people's behavior, Gu Hai looked to the side at the heaven-mending city lord, said that it was his own research study. It turned out that, however, he was able to do it. 
Mending Heaven City Lord anxiously said, HM, what other properties are there? Guhai said in a deep voice, Erm, um, it can only be used once and for all. Oh, it's just that it's now flung out one time, manipulating as many people as it can. That's how many people it can be used for, and it can't be added in the middle. Unless you unlock everyone's control and fling it out again, flinging it in the right direction. The Heaven Mending City Lord explained, I see, that's nothing then, another batch of cloud beasts, Guhai said in a deep voice. At once, another batch of Great Han Generals rushed out. Boom, the cloud beasts that had just disappeared reappeared. In the distance, Hu Dongshan's face changed, powerful and powerful. A general manoeuvred Xiong Yu and immediately rushed towards Hu Dongshan. HMPH, Hu Dongshan probed his hand and pulled the string puppet pole. And all of a sudden, he pulled everyone over. Ah, asshole, Hu Dongshan, what are you doing? You're pulling my back, asshole, don't pull me. Buzz, with his own comrades, the square sky painted halberd came to a raw halt. Ha 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 ha, come on, come and chop. Hu Dongshan laughed coldly. The crowd of cloud beasts were huge in size. Rushing to himself, Hu Dongshan immediately manoeuvred some people to send them up to die for him. Even though those people kept abusing, however, Hu Dongshan simply ignored them. Boom, boom. One by one, the cloud beasts stopped, worried about injuring their comrades. Sovereign, why are we being controlled to? Sovereign, don't. The crowd of heaven mending sect disciples also screamed in terror. Being pulled around by a puppet on strings, the heaven mending sect disciples were also terrified. HMPH, you bunch of losers. This sect master took pity on you and allowed you to worship the heaven mending sect. And now, the moment the heaven mending sect is in trouble, you're retreating backwards. What use do I have for you all? Hu Dongshan said in a cold voice. Hu Dongshan, quickly release me, or my clan will destroy your heaven mending sect. Asshole, Hu Dongshan, I didn't expect you to be such a person. Did I provoke you? Let me die in my place. A crowd of gamblers screamed in horror. A crowd of cloud beasts wanted to go forward, but with one scapegoat being blocked by a string puppet pole, the crowd of cloud beasts could not go forward for a while. Hu Dongshan's face was gloomy as he said, arranging such a large formation I as the consumption of a large amount of spirit stones. Right. Oh, I'll see how long your spirit stones can last. Mending heaven city lord, don't kill me. I'm a great Han subject, ah. I'm just here to gamble today. I'm also a citizen of Dahon, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'm also a citizen of Dahon, long live Great Han, don't kill me. The crowd of replacement victims were terrified, afraid that the square heavenly painting halberd would chop down. Your Majesty, Tang Chu frowned as he looked towards Gu Hai. Great Han's people, naturally we can't do anything. Wrap him up first, Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Then what now? Tang Chu, you take control of the Grand Formation, Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Yes. Fo Stone Man. In, the ten Fo Stone Men answered. You guys take me to vanish into that mountain peak, walk straight out of that heaven mending hall, and grab him from behind Hu Dongshan. Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Yes. The group of four shippers answered. Erm, your majesty. Just let the Fo Stone Men go. Tang Chu said doubtfully. Since there's a tilting puppet pole, it's hard to guarantee that there aren't any other treasures. I'll go along and take a look. Gu Hai shook his head. Looking into the distance, hatred filled Gu Hai's eyes. Cheng Xion heiress revenge was still fresh in his mind. And to capture Hu Dongshan, Gu Hai naturally wanted to personally strike. Yes, as if he could see Gu Hai's hatred, Tang Chu didn't ask anything and just nodded. Buzz. The ten foothill stone men carried Gu Hai and slowly sank into the ground, heading towards the heaven mending peak not far away. The recluse, everything was still smooth until they were near the heaven mending peak. Buzz. The ten foothill stone people gave a slight lurch. Your Majesty, something is wrong. 
the fall stone men called out. Oh, there's something strange about the soil of this mountain peak. A foothill stone man called out. Keep going in. Guhai said in a deep voice. Good, buzz. The group of fall stone men continued to enter, but just as they stepped into the interior, their bodies suddenly shook. Dang. All the fall stone men suddenly couldn't move. What? How did this dirt suddenly turn into metal? And there's a solidification formation in the metal. We can't move. A faux stone man exclaimed. The other faux stone people also had their bodies trembling for a while, but the surrounding dirt had all turned into metal, and the earth escape was suddenly ineffective, and they couldn't even move. Outside, the Hudongshan who was manipulating the puppet on strings was revealing a light smile at the corner of his mouth. You want to escape from the earth and deal with me from my rear? Heh, you guys have foothill stonesmen. Take it that I don't know. HMPH, my heaven-mending sect is full of organs. Hu Dongshan sneered as he looked into the distance, as long as he dragged on, when the energy of the Grand Formation ran out. This group of people would be at his mercy. Humph. Underground. The group of faux stone people couldn't move without fear, but... They still protected Guhai in the center. The dirt turned into metal. You guys can't hide in the earth. Does that do any harm? Guhai worried. There is no harm. Just like this. We can last for a year and a half. Only. We are trapped now. The foothills stone people said bitterly. It's good that it's fine. You guys wait here until I take down Hu Dongshan first. Guhai said in a cold voice. Yes. The crowd of false stone people said bitterly, Buzz, once the absolute life blade came out, Guhai slashed towards the front. Thrust. The incomparably sharp Ji Sheng blade instantly chopped open a metal path. Guhai squeezed forward. However, just after squeezing forward for a distance of three feet, steeply, as if he had pierced through a wall, revealing a space within. Oh, the mountain has been hollowed out. Guhai revealed a hint of surprise. The absolute life blade quickly chopped open the cave, and Guhai stepped into it. Silk, Guhai sucked in a cold breath. This space was lit by a night pearl, and underneath the ground lay nearly 3,000 women's bones. Most of them had rotted to the point where only bones remained, while some others were dry corpses. Guhai's eyelids flickered, holding his breath. He walked towards a step not far away. A small door at the top. Guhai probed and retreated. Going up to the second level. It was also a purgatory in general. Fifty women's corpses. All of them had dried up at this moment. As if they had been drained of all their water. And where their lower bodies were. They were even more tattered. While above their necks. They were covered with a chain. The shriveled face showed an expression of horror and despair. Obviously, he had been subjected to inhuman torture in his lifetime. Harvesting yin to replenish yong, Gu Hai suddenly thought of a piece of information he had seen in the past. These women, all of them had all their powers harvested with evil powers, Hu Dongshan. Gu Hai's eyelids fluttered furiously. The 3,000 corpses on the first level below that were all women, that Hu Dongshan had mutilated in the past and these 50 corpses were mutilated just a short while ago. Gu Hai's face showed a grimace. Hu Dongshan is decent on the surface, but secretly he cultivates such evil power. Taking a deep breath and suppressing the anger and hatred in his heart, Gu Hai once again stepped onto the third dungeon. There was a small door at the third level of the Earth Palace. Gu Hai gently pushed it open and immediately heard the sound of a woman's panting. Fairy Wanna. Guhai said in shock. Stepping forward, Guhai entered the third layer. And right at this moment, in the third layer of the Earth Palace, a wisp of pink gas was suddenly drilled into Guhai's nose. 